Music history for guitar gurus goes beyond the likes of B.B. King, Van Halen, Esteban, or Clapton. But what about the guitarists whose rightful place in history helped shape future generations of musicians? When you peer into the eyes of 90-year-old guitarist Dick Benedis, you can't help but respect him for his place in music's time warp. Benedis played guitar for the legendary Xavier Cugat's band in the late 40s and 50s. When I was much younger, I remember seeing Bathing Beauty with Xavier Cugat. And uh, I said to myself, I'd like to get into his band someday. Hmm. And uh, finally, I showed Cougat my excerpt recordings from the Paul Whiteman show. And he asked me to join him when he went into the Strand after he took a, a tour of South America. Cougat is best remembered for pioneering and lifting the rumba, the conga, and samba from novelties to the point where they are now the popular art of dancing. During his career, Benedis worked with legendary Broadway composer Cy Coleman, Paul Whitman, and a host of others. And he's done everything from live radio to working the music pit on Broadway. These are musical pioneers. One can't help but admire this magical man for his passion to play guitar. Talking about why he's here today, as we sat and interviewed Benedis, he played impromptu to his son-in-law Tom Gorman's amazing vocals and Chuck Fargione's song. That's what love is all about. Winter, you will sing. Summer, you fall. One great story Benedict shared was when he took us back to a moment in time which defined his work. He played in front of 78,000 servicemen and women in Okinawa after the when war. I first landed on Okinawa, a typhoon had just hit. Therefore, all the regular barracks were down. And we had to put up pup tents. So, uh, I was in my tent during the day practicing the guitar and lo and behold somebody came into my tent. I could see that he was an officer and he enjoyed music and I was playing for him and uh, he, he listened and I played and so forth and when he left I said, by the way, what do you do here? He says, I'm commander of this base. <laughs> Here's Dick Benedict and his guitar back from Okinawa and fresh from an engagement as soloist with Johnny Long's band at the Meadowbrook Club. So now, fly to the Bumblebee. <laughs> When you look back 50 years, can you, can you give us a message as to how fast that time goes? Um, like the race at Daytona Beach. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I have a lot of fond memories. I mean.